Okay, here's me here. I'm, I'm getting ready to install this cam in the bike today. So before I do that, I wanted to compare it with the stock, uh, with the stock camshaft. So right here in this baggie right here, I've got the stock camshaft for my KLX 140. Still in excellent shape. There it is. It's on this really dirty piece of underwear, but it's pretty oily. Um, so just put them side by side um, so when I got this camshaft the bearings were separate I got these fag bearings from uh, they're made in North Korea I guess and uh, yeah, they look alright um, and I had to press them onto the um, these guys so hopefully this comes in right but, uh, so yeah those are the two uh, camshafts right there you can immediately tell that uh, hmm, this one is a little, the lobes are thinner on this, yeah? They are thinner. Okay, well, we'll, we'll we're just going to do some quick measurements to compare. Um, so you can see here, there's less, there's less material on this one, it, is what it looks like, and the casting looks smoother. See how smooth the ends, the, the camshaft is? Well, this one, you know, it's kind of rough looking, not as nice looking. This one might be a little heavier because there's some oil on it, but but yeah, I can tell this one is lighter. It's got the same size bearings, obviously. Um, yeah, so really all we can do is just uh, make a comparison uh, in the dimensions. Uh, we can also weigh it too. We'll weigh it at the end. So that's what's the first measurement we'll do is. Uh, Right here, so where where the cast where you can see the casting the most. Let's see how much do how much it is. Okay, I put new batteries in my caliper so it doesn't flash like that. <laughs> so, okay, here we go. We're gonna measure right here. Eighteen. Eighteen millimeters. Okay. The stock one. Twenty millimeters. So there's a lot less material. There's two millimeters less diameter for like the little neck here. Um, yeah. All right. So we can do next. Let's do this lobe right here. Let's just measure how high, how tall it is. The tallest we can get on this guy. I would say looks like it's 35. 35.4 for the topmost lobe there. And 36. Okay, <laughs> this is actually less. That's surprising. 30, 36.4. 35. Okay, 35. 35 okay so so not only is that one this if this isn't the the shaft thinner but the lobe is 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 less too so that would mean you're getting less lift right i'm like okay it's supposed to make you faster maybe by making it lower i don't know okay so we're going to do the the second lobe the second lobe is 3.5 high with 3.6 I'm sure the cam profiles are probably different yeah let's go with uh, 3 3.6 or 3.7 3.7 maybe you want to do the other one again we'll pick the, the highest number thirty like a 36.2 yeah, yeah, thirty-six point two. What was this one again? Thirty-five. Thirty-five point. Thirty-five point seven was it? Yeah. Is it there? They're um. They're almost. It's almost like a millimeter less. Um, that's interesting. Yeah, that is interesting. Okay, so let's measure the thickness of the lobes because they look different too. We got a nine millimeter on the top one. It's 
just and this is 11 millimeters geez this is a much bigger cam like dimension dimensionally 11.6 9.7, yeah, it's just lighter. I think that's the only upgrade is this, it's lighter than the stock one. And we'll, we'll put it on the scale. Um, so, so we found out that the lobes are actually smaller. They're not as tall. So, ooh, but you know what? What you might want to just measure is the, um, the height of the lobe instead of the whole lobe. Let's do that too. And there. Okay, so what you do here is make it go a little bit further and then press it down until it stops. Okay, I got a 12, 12 point six, 16. This one. Ah, there we go. Okay, there we go. So it's 11.5. So um, it's almost a millimeter taller. Almost. However, the whole, if you measure the whole lobe, it's actually shorter. So maybe that's how they get around with the, um, having a higher lift, but the other side is like kind of shorter too. Um, it, it does look, it does seem that way, yeah. Um, okay, let's go do this one. spot eight eight point one three do this one. Oh yeah 12 holy moly so I don't know what cam this one is this one might be the intake cam or something but yeah it's a lot taller <laughs> eight from eight to twelve that's like a four millimeters difference wow the the other one wasn't wasn't as much um, yeah, the other one wasn't as much. The other lobe, the other comparison, because you got 8.3 here versus a 12. Oh, no, it's about the same too, yeah. Yeah, so it's a 8 versus 12, yeah. So it's about a 4 millimeter lift is what it is. Boy, I hope that doesn't, hope that doesn't mess up the piston. <laughs> it's all about timing and all that, right? Um, so we can just take a quick look at the... Let's see if the way you set you line this up is you use the little key here. There you got a little keyhole. So you gotta make sure they're pretty close. And it does look like I don't know, it's it's really hard to tell what's what. Show them next next to each other. Yeah, it looks like all the timing is almost the same, but the way they're the way the lobes are shaped are a little bit different. And that's kinda hard to tell. Yeah, so this one has a more square, this one has a more square lobe. It's like, it's more, it's, it has a longer duration is what I'm going to say. See, this one is kind of more peaky. It just kind of opens and then closes. This one is, stays open longer. And then, oh, but you know what? Um, this, the, we're measuring from uh, the, the base here. To the top and the base is shorter on this one so yeah you know it's kind of hard to get it is really hard to just measure it and compare you know it's really hard to compare them but you can look at the shapes so you can tell that the uh this these lobes are roughly the same they're pretty much the same this one however is different this one has a bigger a longer duration longer duration it's got a little bit higher lift I, we think it has a little bit higher lift, but it, it could just be the um, the caliper playing tricks on us because we measured it from here to here, and we know that this is actually thicker than this. So it's like like was it two millimeters thicker or something? So that could account for why why this one feels like it's a lot taller. Okay, so the last thing we'll do is we'll uh, put okay, it on the scale. Okay, we got our handy scale here. So first we're gonna put our stock KLX140 cam on it. We've got a 12.8 ounces with the bearings. 12, okay, 12.6, 12.8, 12.6, 12.8. 
<laughs> okay, uh, let's just say it's a 12.8. Okay. And we're going to go put the new one. It's 11.2 ounces. So this cam is, uh, was it 12.8 and 11.2? So it's a, like a full, almost a full ounce lighter. It's more than a full ounce lighter, lighter right? 12.8 and 11.2. Yeah, so eight. Yeah, it's like yeah, it's more than two ounces. Six. It's a one point six ounces lighter. So um, I don't know if that makes a big, big difference. It's it's a very minuscule weight, but it's you know it's stuff moving around in, in a very tiny engine. It might be enough to make a difference. So so we can tell that um, this one is lighter has a longer this has a longer duration for this this cam lobe I'm not really sure which one this is I don't know if it's the intake or the exhaust I I think it's the intake it keeps the intake open longer so there's that would be there'd be a longer overlap um, yeah and then uh, it's lighter there's less material on it the lobes are thinner the lobes are thinner maybe that's why it's lighter too um, and yeah and that's pretty much it so those are the difference I can I can see from this compared to the uh, the stock KLX 140 cam. So lighter, more duration on one of the lobes. It seems like there's a little bit more lift. Like I said, like four, but but we can't really go off of that because because uh, this is the shaft is is thinner than that one, which makes it lighter. Um, yeah. So one of them has more duration. I'm thinking. I'm. I'm thinking this has more lift. I'm thinking. So, all right. So that's a. That was kind of like a quick comparison between the two cams. Um, the this is the Moto One. It says Moto One right here. Moto One Racing uh, camshaft for the KLX 140. I think it's like. I guess there's there's different ones. This one was. This one is uh, was included in the Big Bore kit. So this kit. This cam is specifically goes with that kit. That that's the way they they want you to install it. So, all right. I, I hope that's been an interesting video for you guys. Um, can't wait to see uh, how this wakes my KLX up. All right. Here's my go.